Our offering today is for the Back to God Our Ministries International. Uh, if you are not familiar with them, I invite you to check out the link uh, that uh, I'll provide on this video uh, and or to check out the information in the bulletin if you have received one of those or just Google Back to God Our Ministries International. They do tremendous work reaching out and giving the gospel to people all over this world. Uh, they have done tremendous work sending the gospel through radio broadcasts into countries that are closed uh, to missionaries, and they have done tremendous work bringing the gospel to our homes through uh, the Today magazine and devotions that are now available online and many other things. Check them out and please um, give as God directs you to give. Give uh, generously and cheerfully uh, in the name of our Lord Jesus Savior. Now let us come to God in congregational prayer and uh, let us offer our gifts to him as well. Let us pray. Father in heaven, thank you so very much for bringing us together today, even though we are physically not together. Lord, we pray that you will be with us uh, during the remainder of this service, that you will open our hearts and minds to hear what you would have us hear during the, uh, the message, the sermon. Lord, thank you for speaking to us already through scriptures and through prayers and through, uh, through the music that we have uh, sung together. Lord, thank you for all the folks who participated in, uh, in creating this service, whether they're aware of it or not. Lord, we pray that uh, you will bless them. Lord, we pray, too, that you will be glorified as churches and Christians, Christ followers throughout this world, praise your name. Not only today, O oh God, but throughout the week. Lord, as we think about Ascension Day, as we think about the reality of you, Jesus, ascending into heaven, we think about the corresponding promise that you will not always stay away, that you are preparing a place for us, and that you will return. And so, Lord, we look forward to that day, and we ask for your return. Lord, come. Lord Jesus, come. Lord, we pray for this world. Lord, we hear uh, mixed news throughout this, uh, throughout this day. Lord, we pray uh, for the people of Hong Kong and China, the government leaders there, as there is unrest and difficulty there. Lord, we pray for wisdom, and we pray for, uh, we pray for freedom. We know that you created human beings with their own will to choose. We confess that we have often abused that choice. But we know also, O oh God, that that choice, those choices that we have been given, are part of your good creation. We pray, would you please protect not only the people of Hong Kong and China, but also the people of this whole world from uh, governments or other authorities who would seek to oppress in some way. Lord, we pray too for our government here in Canada. We pray for them as they seek how they can respond with the complications of needing uh, the manufactured goods like uh, protective personal protective equipment that China provides. Uh, but yet wanting to stand up for uh, the rights of other peoples and for uh, the good and just things to be done in this world. Lord, we pray also for wisdom for our government leaders as, as many provinces are opening up in various ways. Lord, we, we ask that you would give those government leaders and, and uh, the health uh, departments, you would give them wisdom and guidance that we may do that which is good, but also, O oh God, we pray that you would help us um, economically, that you would help us um, health-wise, that you would help us in all the ways that are necessary as we uh, move forward in these days. Lord, we pray too for uh, our uh, neighbors to the south 
in the United States as they continue to be battered, not only by COVID-19, but also by political unrest and difficulties there. Lord, we pray for wisdom for the government leaders there as well as the health leaders and for the people of the United States as well. Regardless of what political leanings they have or, or anything like that, oh God, please be with our neighbors to the south. Lord, we pray too that you will, uh, you will be with all of the folks in our congregation who are struggling with health uh, concerns. We thank you so much that so far, uh, again, uh, there, is, uh, no, there are no cases of COVID-19 that, that I am aware of in our congregation. We are so grateful for that. But there are many people in our congregation who are struggling with illnesses of various kinds. And Lord, we pray for them. You know who they are, and they are in our hearts, and we love them, and we long uh, to be able to get together with them again, uh, but we long even more for their healing, for their comfort and strength. Lord, we pray that you will be with them. Lord, we pray too that you will be with all of those who may be struggling uh, during this time of uh, physical distancing, who, who maybe don't feel like the, uh, they are able to connect with people. Uh, everything, oh God, from those who would long to have or give a hug uh, to those who are uh, especially vulnerable and haven't been able to uh, really see or, or talk to uh, much of anyone. Lord, we pray for, for comfort and strength for them too. May we, uh, each of us in this congregation, reach out to those who are particularly isolated, not only, O oh God, in our own congregation, but uh, among all of the peoples of Athens and throughout the world. Lord, for those of us who are still trying to figure out how we can contribute positively to this world, Please help us to do so. Lord, today too, we think about those who were affected by the fire here in the village. Uh, Lord, we thank you so much uh, that no one was hurt this past week during that fire. Uh, Lord, we do pray for the, the property damage. We pray, for, uh, we pray for the businesses that were affected. Lord, we pray for the people who were affected. Lord, we pray uh, that you would not only work out the details like repairing and rebuilding and insurance and all that, uh, but that also you would help with the trauma and the worry that this has caused for people uh, in our village. Lord, we pray uh, that they would find all that they stand in need of, primarily in you, O oh God, but also in this village as we band together to help. And now, Lord... As we bring before you our, our offerings, we pray that you will bless those offerings, that you will bless the work of Back to God Ministries International, and that you will help these offerings to, to spread your good news and hope throughout this world, as you have done through their ministry for so many years. Lord, we pray too that the gospel message that we hear through the scriptures and through the message will... Um, will sink into our hearts, that it will make a difference for us. Lord, we pray all of these things in Jesus' name. 